The Royal Regiment of Scotland Hackle has a history that goes back centuries and is worn with pride by every one of its soldiers. But for three Scots and their reservist attachments, it's all change ahead. The significance of this act, the removing of their regimental headdress and replacing with the blue beret, cannot be underestimated. It means for the next six months these troops are under a new command, working as part of the United Nations force in Cyprus. This is a full-scale replica of Nicosia and the Green Line, down to every street crossing and landmark. British troops man three areas um, with a total of a company strength. So, on the ground, uh, we're using the area of Nescliffe training area, which is unfortunately only 7.5 kilometres from end to end, to replicate a far larger section of the buffer zone in Cyprus. The 180 kilometre buffer zone has been in place for over 40 years now, as part of a UN mission to keep the Turkish and Greek Cypriot sides of the country apart and in a delicate peace. Whether it's dealing with illegal hunting or sandbags added to positions, all the training is based upon lessons learnt from the troops already out in Cyprus. Some of the things they have to deal with are farmers being in the wrong place or too close to the opposing forces, ceasefire lines, or refugees. There's been a huge influx of Syrian refugees in Cyprus, and one of the issues that the soldiers have had to deal with is those refugees coming to them on the gate saying, I want to have asylum with you as a UN troop, or for them to manage the crossing of these refugees as they're thrown back um, from one side to another into what effectively is no man's land in the buffer zone, and they have to deal with those, uh, those refugees to make sure they're kept safe and moved into a safe area. Over the last 13 years, three Scots have deployed on seven combat tours. And during their training, they've sought to find a way to take on that experience into a very different setting. I think our training has stood us in good stead as well. Uh, we're very aware of um, political sensitivities that have existed in our previous missions, particularly training uh, the Libyans. Uh, and, and certainly in that mission as well, we learned a degree of patience, which I think will be really important for, for being out in Cyprus. Whilst all is normally quiet in the buffer zone, anniversaries of significant dates can be a cause of conflict. As part of UNFASIP, the UN peacekeeping force in Cyprus, three Scots will have two roles. The Ops Company will patrol Sector 2 of the buffer zone, whilst the second company will work with the Mobile Force Reserve, a quick reaction force made up of many different nationalities. I think that shows something about the UN, that uh, uh, countries that have been in war with each other not that long ago uh, are now working side by side. Optoska is seen by some as a sunshine tour, but these troops work hard over the next six months, putting all the training they've learnt here into practice. Right. Since 1964, UN forces have kept the peace in Cyprus, and now the Black Watch will be part of that history joining one of the longest-running peacekeeping missions in the world. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Nescliffe.